And by the strangest bit of luck, the woman was my ma. McGregor, McKenna, McCowan, McCraw, McVerry, McNeil, and McRae. I, all of the folk in the village, were there on my mother's wedding day. For Pa had asked his friend McBee, and Mac had come with May McGee, and May invited 93 to my mother's wedding day. Then up the road came Ed McKean with half the town of Aberdeen. I everyone was on the scene at her mother's wedding day. At quarter to five, everybody was there, a waiting around in the room. McVicker, McDougal, McDuff, and McCoy, everybody but the groom. And as the hours turtled by, the men got feeling kind of dry and thought they'd take a nip a rye while a waiting for the groom. And while the men were dipping in, the lady started on the gin. And soon the room began to spin at her mother's wedding day. Then all of a sudden the liquor was gone, the gin and the whiskey and all. And all of a sudden the wedding affair had become a bonny brawl. For Pete McGraw and Joe McBee began to fight for May McGee, while May McGee and Sam McKee were a wooing in the hall. So cold and stiff was John McVay, they used him for a servant tray. For everyone was trying to gay and her mother's wedding day. McDuff and McVitty were playing a game and using McCoy for the ball. McKenna was eating the bridal bouquet and McNeil hung on the wall. Then finally my father came, his eyes were red, his nose aflame. He didn't even know his name, he was drunkest of them all. The people were lying all over the room, a-looking as if they were dead. Then Mother uncovered the minister quick, and she told him, go ahead. Then Pa kneeled down on Bill McRae, and Mother kneeled and Jock McVay. The preacher stood on John McVay, and that's how my Ma was wed. Until today, the folks declare it was a mess beyond compare. <laughs> 